It's Lisa Ryan here from Counseling for Busy People, and welcome to another from me to you uh, YouTube video series. I'm here to help you make all of your relationships spectacular, including the one you have with yourself. Today, I'd like to tell you about some of the clues and signs that I use in my office to figure out whether or not a husband or boyfriend is cheating on his wife or girlfriend. This easily applies to all couples, whether you're married or not, gay or straight, because cheating is cheating. Look for changes in behavior. This is especially true of his cell phone habits. A guy who's cheating is really protective of his phone. He'll carry it everywhere. He won't let you borrow his phone, and he sure won't give you any working passwords. If he gives you passwords, and you try it, they're likely not going to work if he is seeing somebody else. Some people even have a second cell phone. If he uses apps like Snapchat and WhatsApp, ask him why. Sometimes there's not a very good reason, or the reason is pretty obvious. Secondly, he won't answer your questions openly. Your husband or boyfriend may try to appear angry to get out of answering the question or to stop the conversation. He will launch a counterattack. He will uh, answer a question with a question or he just might get highly defensive. If he's really feeling desperate, he'll pick a fight with you and walk away. Third, uh, if he's unavailable for large blocks of time, uh, and if he turns his cell phone off or he just doesn't respond the way he used to, then I think you've got a problem. If he's losing power on a regular basis, he's likely lying about something. If your husband or boyfriend won't share an Apple ID account or password, uh, then that's also uh, problematic because then you won't be able to use uh, and share uh, find uh, my phone or perhaps uh, he might also be unwilling to share any of the other tracking apps. Um, fourth on my pay attention to list is cash withdrawals. Affairs cost money so watch the credit card charges. The amounts and what was purchased are essential and also uh, pay attention to PayPal charges. It's something that all of us often overlook, yet when you're trying to hide something, PayPal is the first place to go. Also be aware that there are cards that are preloaded with cash, so if you happen to take a spin by his wallet and you see a card that you don't recognize, ask what it is. Five, sexual habits change. This can uh, vary widely. If he's completely disinterested in you, then that's not a very good sign uh, because he, he may actually feel like he's being unfaithful to somebody he cares about. That said, the vast majority of infidelity cases I work with are men who just don't want to get caught. They may want to try new things in bed with you. They may complain that you never want to do anything new or that you don't take care of yourself physically. That's because somebody else is in their head. Don't let it get to you. It's fixable. Six, his appearance changes. He may lose weight. He may start working on getting more buffed. He may buy a new wardrobe. Some older men, ooh, can take on a completely different style entirely. Uh, men can suddenly develop new interests like cycling or running or all of the interests that that other person seems to be interested in. So that's another clue. Seven, he's jumpy. He has a fear of getting caught. That's why he's jumpy. Guilt makes somebody anxious, feel anxious. A cheating boyfriend knows how well you know him and he's afraid you're going to notice something. Eight, unfaithful boyfriends start spending more time at work and more time with their friends. I don't think so. So pay attention when he's home less often or he's always busy or he's unavailable or he's not available by phone. These are all bad signs. I hope that you found this helpful um, and I certainly hope that your husband or boyfriend is not betraying you. Try to find out what's really going on. Ask him about some of his changes. Give him the benefit of the doubt if it feels like he's really trying to answer you honestly. 
This is the first YouTube video I've ever made. Be kind. Other new ones will be added weekly. I'm here to be your very good friend and to tell you everything I've learned about relationships. I'm so grateful to have finally figured out a way to reach you with what I've learned from all of the hundreds and hundreds of wonderful and always anonymous clients over the years with whom I've listened as a couples therapist and infidelity expert. I really hope this has helped you. If it did, I'd love it if you could hit like and share it with anybody else you think might enjoy it too. Be sure you leave a comment over on the uh, website, counselingforbusypeople.com. Membership opens January 1 of 2018, and you're, I, I would love to see you there. Until then, I always love to read any questions you have, and I'll make sure I answer them in an upcoming video. I'll see you again next week for another From Me to You from Counseling for Busy People. Take care.